Hello, my beautiful blue hearts. Thank you this morning uh, for joining me live. I had gone live to talk about my memoir. Um, usually I go live to do my art, but today I felt like I wanted to talk about my memoir. Um, you're like, why is she writing a memoir? What's this about? Well, I grew up in an abusive home. I had childhood trauma, and I've been healing it these past couple of years. Um, so I've been writing a memoir also to coincide with that healing. Growing up, you know, I was told to shut up. I'll give you something to cry about. And so I learned to squash my emotions and not talk about them, not deal with them. And once I moved out of my parents' home, I thought, I'm good now. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm safe. I'm good. That's just not the case. You have to heal through it. You have to grow through it. You have to confront it to get through it. Um, but I didn't realize that until recently. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, how, how did my childhood trauma shape me and my behavior and how has it affected me in my life and how do I change it because I don't want to continue those patterns and I want to break the cycle for myself and for my family so that's what I've been doing my mother passed away last year but before she passed I started on this journey and then after she passed I continued but with the added grief of losing her. And yes, my mother, you know, hurt me and didn't protect me and things like that growing up. But I did get to a point where I could forgive her and started to put some boundaries in place to protect myself and things like that. But, you know, on this trauma healing journey, I realized that I do need to talk about it to confront it and heal through it. So that's what the memoir is. And that's what doing podcast interviews has been about for me, is to talk about it and say, these things happened. Um... I'm honoring myself and my truth by talking about it. But in any case, I wanted to share some of my memoir with you now. So this is part of my intro. I just finished it now. I lay in my bed crying, tears streaming into my ears as I lay on my back. I couldn't have been older than four or five years old. Something was wrong. Something was missing. There in the dark, I prayed. And there I'm going to leave it. Alright, so chapter 1, here's the beginning. I stood there, frozen with fear, an internal conflict playing out in my head. If I run to get help, she could die. If I stay here, she could die right in front of me. The scene before me is too much for a child to handle. And I'll leave it there. If you were in my live with me this morning, you heard the full intro and the full chapter one. And I know it was very heavy because it was hard for me to write. <laughs> I, I, I was the, transported back to those scenes, these experiences that I had in my life. I had to relive them. I had to feel them again. But that's how I will get through the book, um, proceed with writing the book. I have to feel and relive those moments, but I have to do it to move through them as well and heal through them. So that's how this book is going to go. I'm just at chapter one in the intro now, but I have about 20 chapters lined up and outlined. So, this is going to take a while. 
because I have to take a break in between the chapters. The first chapter that I did was so heavy and I could feel the adrenaline and I could I could feel it all again. So I needed to take a week, a couple of weeks to just reset. And that's why I was able to just now get back into it and start on the intro. And now I'll go into chapter two. And we'll see how that goes. But thank you so much for being here, for being a part of this journey. I do use my art as a way to cope and to heal. Uh, I've done that most of my life. As far back as I could remember, you know, I was drawing uh, parrots in the rainforest and flowers and the nutcracker and the sugar plum fairy. Beautiful, safe, comforting, joyous places. That's my art. That's what it's always been and what it always will be. I do have a couple of pieces that are dark, but that the majority of them are light and happy and just full of love. They're my safe spaces, my, my safe place. So thank you uh, for being here for my art. Thank you for coming along my trauma healing journey and healing alongside me. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>